Welcome back to my fourth installment of this week's communication keys. And one thing to keep in mind in terms of communication is that always be willing to take responsibility for your failure to communicate. So if I'm trying to communicate to you and you didn't get what I'm trying to say, whether you were listening or not doesn't matter. Because if you weren't listening, well, why am I trying to communicate to you if you're not even listening to me? So if I'm, my job is to communicate to you what I wanted to get across to you, then whose job is it to make sure that you're receptive? So if I want to communicate, I want you to be as receptive as possible to listening. So that's my job. And if I fail to do that, who has failed? Always a failure to communicate has a lot to do with the person trying to communicate. If your intent is to communicate to someone else, be willing to take responsibility for the failure to communicate because then if you want them, if you realize that you've been ineffective and want to clear that up and get them to listen more carefully, you don't want to make them wrong. So instead, always be willing to apologize for your part of a miscommunication. For example, you might want to say once you realize there's been a miscommunication, I'm sorry. I believe there's been a miscommunication here and I do apologize if I wasn't clear. Now that person is more than willing to be open to listening to how you see it, but always be willing to take responsibility for your failure to communicate and apologize for that piece so that they're more willing to listen.